in and we enjoy being around each other. I think when people started to see that, they then kind of revisited it with him and things have since gotten better. But in the beginning, yeah, he definitely had a hard time getting some support from some people and they had things to say. I could see that. Well, from one girl to another, Catherine, do you think this is the one? Like, can you see yourself marrying him? I, yes, I can see myself marrying him. Yes, I think that, I think that it won't be for like another two years or so. Realistically, now that like I'm seeing what reality is as an adult when you're growing with another human, I feel like it'll be a while, but I do think he is the one that I will end up with. Wow. And like, what's the rush, right? You have the rest of your life. Yeah. What's the rush? I feel like I've always wanted that, that like romantic story that just went like from zero to a hundred. And I just want this one. And I've said this since the beginning, I wanted to do things the right way since the beginning with him. And we have, we've really taken it slow. And I think that's been a huge asset to our relationship because we didn't just I don't know. We didn't just like go all in without listening to the people around us or not listening to, like, we just did it slowly. That's good. Have you like talked marriage with him? Like, does he know that he's the one for him? Oh yeah. I've said it a lot. I'm like, <laughs> you're like, Hey um, honey, here's my, yeah, fingers. let's get engaged at least. <laughs> um, no, but he just like laughs it off. I mean, I know, I think he and I both know we aren't ready. But I like to make jokes out of it because, you know, what girl doesn't want to like say to the person she knows she'll spend her life with, like, can't wait to have that ring, you know? Totally. Listen, there's no harm in saying that. fun. Yeah. Do you, have you like thought in your head, I'm sure you have, like of what type of wedding you would want just in general? I used to want that big extravagant, like ball gown dress, glitter, all of the things. But now that I've gotten older, I feel like not that I would want to elope, but I would want to have a very small gathering. I don't want a crazy dress. I want something very, very um, minimal, you know, like a silk slip dress or something like that, you know? I don't know, I just see such a different, the way that I want to present like my marriage to the world and to myself is not with the glitter and the fun and the feathers and all the crap. I want it to just be like super spiritual, I guess. That's good. Well, you know, you always see like those things on Instagram or like those couples that post about how happy they are 24 hours a day. You're like, you're miserable. Like you're not happy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to have that like show for people to like, for me to feel like I'm happy. Totally. Do you think you would ever want more kids? Like, have you thought of that? Yes, definitely want more kids. Definitely. I want at least like two more children. A boy and a girl. Yeah. And then if we want more, we have more. And Caleb seems to want more children he's just like okay he just kind of says okay (laughs) he's like yeah a boy and a girl he wants a little athlete because like he played football and stuff so he wants a little boy that he can like raise and like help play you know ball in the backyard and stuff he like has that dream and then I have my dream of just having a big family I love it if you got married today which I know you're not who from the southern charm cast past and present would be at your wedding Oh God. Oh man. Well, that's hard to say because sometimes you don't know where you stand with everyone, but I would say the people that wouldn't be on the list would be Patricia for sure. Um, and the people, I don't know. I would say the people that would be on the list, Craig, Shep, Austin, Craig, Shep, Austin, the guys love the guys, trust the guys, want them there for my journey. Still getting to know the rest. And no Patricia. No Patricia. Um, she is too flip floppy. Like she's for you whenever it's popular to be for you. And then she hates your guts whenever it's popular to hate you. And like, that just comes off to me as like super obviously inauthentic. And like, I have zero respect for that. And like, it's weird for me because Growing up in the South, like you have respect for your elders. So to not have that a lot of times like really sucks. And it even feels weird saying it out loud right now because I was taught not to talk about like an elder like that. Like, but she's just whatever. She's like dirtier than most people my age. (laughs) 
And like, there's only so much you could take someone flip-flopping on you before you're like, yeah, before you're just like, quit using me for what you need. You know, if you want to like talk to me and get to know me, like, let me know. But other than that, I'm not going to like pretend that we're cool because I definitely know that you're willing to switch on a dime. Like that's, I don't have time for that. And we have all seen it over many years that she has flip-flopped. Yeah. It's like, and anyone that's like, she could never have the argument like, no, that's not true because literally you can watch it like season three episode, whatever, you know, like you could literally just call it out. And that's another thing that's unfortunate is like, sometimes whenever people do things to you, like their behavior is out there and it's proven and like, they are not people you can trust. And that's unfortunate and it's disappointing to come to in life, but it is what it is. It is what it is right now that you're 30, you just realize certain people are not there forever. No, uh, yeah, a lot of people aren't there forever. I think the last year, two years, I've learned that at any point, the girls you think are your best friends won't be there anymore. And that's wild. Who out of the girls are you close with today, past or present? Um, I'm really, I know that changes also often. It does. Um, the only person that like has stayed in touch a little bit is like Leva. Honestly, she's reached out a few times. Um, and then Madison LaCroix called me on my birthday. Um, but otherwise, like, I don't know. I've really kept to myself after kind of everything I went through. I realized there was a lot of people that didn't have love for me. Like I had love for them. And yeah, so I, I don't know. I've just been learning how to navigate the world and figuring out who you can trust. So I was burnt really, really bad by some girls. So, and it's like, you know, they say like, when you're down, that's where you, when you find out who your real friends are, that's advice. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. And I thought I had been down, but no, I was down and they left my side, you know, and that's unfortunate, but you know, we are, we're past that. And I am just like trying to, I don't know, be the best person I can be now. Well, now that you are in such a happy relationship, who out of Craig, Austin, and Shep do you think would be the first to get married? Oh gosh, I would love to say any of them, but mm, I don't see it happening for any of them anytime soon. I think first, Shep might have an engagement, but we don't know if that's ever going to transpire to a wedding. I could see that happening. <laughs> I mean, he's the only one that's technically in an open out relationship that right. we know about in the public eye, at least. Yeah. So, I mean, at his age, I would imagine he would be ready sooner than later to pop a ring on the finger. <laughs> <laughs> 